I guess the thing most people are interested in um, when you're into paramotoring is your engine and harness or your wing. Yeah, so the, the engine and harness, the one I fly, the Air Conception um, Nitro 200. So it's got a sup air harness. Um, it's got the, uh, the bars that give you torque compensation. I've got a speed bar connected. You can see that this, these are my speed bar um, cables. And this is the speed bar that I detach and use if I need to. It's got a five point harness, two down here, one across the middle, and then a chest strap as well. And actually, really quite comfortable so this is a medium harness so it's got a side pocket on one side and actually in this side pocket is where i keep my battery so i have a xt60 connector on the battery i extend that up to this connection point here um, and i found that to be a much more reliable because i have a six cell battery 25 volt and uh I used to have a four cell battery that I fitted in here and actually it really wasn't giving me enough turnover for the engine so it wasn't it wasn't giving me enough power on start and I was taking two or three sometimes I was going through a whole battery just to get the engine started on this so far um, since I've had it serviced every time single half second blip and it starts so I've been really happy with that I've got um, two e-props this is my the one that came with the engine um, I've got a second one that's slightly wider so I thought I'd show you the other e-prop just to give you uh, the difference the first difference you'll notice is the size of the head mount on it it is significantly bigger than the other and if I put the two side by side you see the difference in shape and an overall size of the prop and actually it's got a the edge of it sweeps out slightly compared to the older e-prop so different design uh, carburetor so it's a walbro um, carburetor I've had that completely um, serviced once in the time I've had it on the engine I've taken the gaskets out, replaced those, and actually the rest of it has been brilliant, really good. I've got a uh, reserve on the side, an Angel reserve that I keep on the side. Just had that serviced at um, one of the parachute service centres, and so that's come back repacked and ready to go. And really happy with the engine. Um, oh, the e-start. Thought I'd show you. So this is, you'll notice that there's quite a few paraglider pilots i was quite surprised the likes of kylo sorry paramotor pilots kylo tucker got a few others all prefer the air conception throttle and um, there's a little bit of a, a grip to it it's textured uh, but it's thin enough and you've got a short um throttle uh, as well you've got an e-start button here and then your stop on the top with an adjustable and i've got my tachometer on the side here which can give me gives me total hours rpm time of day all the usual stuff so nitro 200 a 15 liter tank so if you've got any questions about the nitro my previous engine was a Parajet zenith with a polini thor 80 had that for about a year while i was starting out um, the harness on that was it was the Dudek Comfort seat harness actually very very nice harness frame a lot heavier than the current uh, paramotor setup I've got but if you've got any questions about the Nitro um, anything you want to know that you can't find anywhere else on the internet let me know and I'll try and answer them